first time ever I would do um, my completed pictures for August. Um, I hadn't done these previously but I just thought I'm going to start doing my completed pictures from each month now. So, um, so this is what I've coloured in August. So I coloured a picture from August Reverie. Um, and I've only done one in here and I did this Cleopatra type one um, because I love ancient Egypt so I thought I'd do this one. Um, I used uh, Faber-Castell gelatos for the background and I was really impressed with how that came out actually and also that I used loads of water on it but like no water came through which was really good. I tried doing tan skin as best I could do it is okay but it's not like amazing and then I have of course got some stickles as you can see on the flowers there I could not resist I had to put some stickles on it and then I've got like uh, some metallic uh, paint on there as well I can't really remember what color pencils I used maybe polychromous I'm thinking and perhaps the colour. So there's that one. Um, this is a recent one which you would have seen me do on my stream recently and it is Jasmine from Aladdin and it's from my Disney Kaleidoscopes book, the Japanese um, book and of course we stickled her up so <laughs> and um, there's lots of stickles in there so I used Prismacolor and I used the Fine Tech paints, I used the Jane Tavenport paints and stickles of course so um, I used some polychromous as well actually too so there's that lovely one so I did two pictures from fairy tales this month I'd never coloured in this book I bought it ages ago finally thought I must um, finish this picture that I had started but I haven't finished so I started this one and then went back to it and I just love how it came out I'm so glad I actually waited because I used Helen Ellison's uh, special colour effects book to do the, um, I keep thinking stopwatch, it's not stopwatch, <laughs> the pocket watch, um, and it made it look really awesome, like really old and antique -y. and I was a bit worried because I thought the antique kind of colours didn't necessarily go with the really bright colours, but I really like how that came out. I used Pablo's and um, Luminance pencils for all of it, and then I also used Albert Dura watercolour paints in the background and I really love how they came out actually so um, and then of course I have got some stickles on the flowers I've got some on the teacup but they're not as sparkly the ones on the teacup and then I've got some on the mushrooms as well and then of course on the watch so I really enjoyed doing this picture because at first all these flowers I was doing with all the colours put me off <laughs> I think that's why I stopped doing it and then I just felt like because the paper is a dream in this book I just thought I feel like doing another one I really really like this book now so um, I did this house and of course I had to put sparkle uh, sparkle stickles on it too so it's all sparkly and it's so pretty and I love this one um, next I got another new book this is a Japanese food around the world one but I think it's like candy and desserts so I did one in this one and I did the French uh, well one of the French pages there's many French pages but I did this one and I tell you I was so hungry when I was colouring this so I mostly use Prisma colours for this um, I think I used a touch of Faber Castel Polychromus on it but mostly Prismas and I used it I looked at pictures for reference so I could try and do the desserts justice by making them look like they should do so that was really yummy and I love looking at that page um I have a picture from my one of my Chinese coloring books I think this is like a myths and legends one and I did this lady here um so I used gouache for her um kimono and then some fine tech paint for some of the details um, and then I used Prismacolor for her hair and some stickles in the background and a black acrylic paint as well. Um, I really, really love this one and I just love how it how it's come out. Even though her skin came out a bit darker in places than I wanted, I still really love, love it. And I just love the colours that I chose for it. Like, it just came to me. Like, I had no plan at all whatsoever and just felt like, 
I know I just felt like red and then I felt like well I do want to do black hair so then I thought like I wanted it a bluey grey so just came to me so I'm really proud of this one especially how my gouache came out like I'm really pleased with that I, I like the gouache here I feel like I managed to make that look kind of goldy so um, I'm really pleased with that one so enough of gushing over that one um, and then Enchanted Forest <laughs> um, I'm gonna zoom in just a tiny bit and just move this bit so um, of course there are many pictures in here that I've done so now we need to try and find where they are so I did this one which I didn't actually put on my Instagram because I just couldn't be bothered but um, I used watercolor paints for the background and then I used some again um, no, I used some of the fine tech it was just like a shimmer um, paint um, it's like you add it to make things more sparkly I mean you can paint with it on itself so I did that around the stars to kind of make them stand out a little bit more um, and then I used watercolor for um, the metallic paints for the gate and then I used um, ink tents for the rocks and the uh, leaves and the gargoyles so everything basically is done with ink tents or watercolor paint on this one so there's that one and then I did this one this was when I started ages ago and then I just finished it off because I wanted one that wouldn't take forever so there's this one with lots of different color blue so I just used the blue palette as you can see there is gel pen on it um, because some of the details were very fine so I thought I'd use some of my um, glittery gel pens so I've got that there and Actually, I think it's quite close by, I think, the other picture I did in here, or it should be. Oh, no, it's over here. Here we go. I did this um, lion. So there was loads of leaves in the background around the lion. And when I looked at, I, I had an idea, because I was watching Harry Potter, that I wanted to make it look like the Gryffindor lion. So I thought, oh, yeah, I'll do Gryffindor colours for the lion. So I was going to do the leaves as well. And then I looked at the leaves and I thought, I just cannot be bothered to sit here and colour all these leaves in. So I was like, what can I do? So then I looked at the Gryffindor, um, like the coat of arms, and I noticed the background had this background. And I thought, you know what? I could just paint all those leaves out with my acrylic paint and I can acrylic paint this in the background. So that's what I did. So there we go. We have uh, the Gryffindor lion and then it meant I didn't have to colour all those leaves in, so I was very happy with that. Um, and I'm not sure if there's another one from here. Oh yeah, there is. There's this one. So this will be the last one that I did in this book this month. So, um, interestingly, like I liked how I did it to start with, but it didn't look very interesting. So it wasn't until I um, went in with some Albrecht Dürer in the background, so I used it to just kind of create like a... I guess kind of like a glow stuff in the background that I felt like especially this side that it made it pop out and look um a lot more interesting so um I'm pleased that I'm doing that and I'm finding the Albert Durs I really quite like using them for doing this sort of thing because you can uh, though it, it looks weird when you do when you put it on because you can really see like the lines and stuff but as soon as you add the water you can really um sort of blend it in really lightly um around the edges so it kind of makes it kind of look especially with this rabbit is I, I don't know it just makes it look good so <laughs> I really like using Albert Durer's for that now um so I have not added stickles on there but the little dragonflies have got some like sparkly wings um so yeah I really liked this page that I did in this one and then the last thing I have is a picture I printed out with a pdf so I'm just gonna I keep it in this folder so it's the only one I've done so far, but I um, I bought myself some toned hand paper, the Strathmore one, and I printed out this picture from Fabiana Atanasio, and it's um, the Little Mermaid. Um, it's really different colouring on this paper because I had a hard time with the skin because I kind of felt like the skin didn't blend very well and didn't come out as well as I would have liked. So I think with more practice, because obviously there's already like an undertone to the paper is obviously not white so I think um, just for the skin I found it quite difficult but everything else I found actually worked quite nicely um, and then of course you know as it's um, a PDF printout I thought well I can go to town with the stickles here so I did so <laughs> there's loads and loads of stickles like all over and I really enjoyed this one. It took me quite some time to actually do it, but I really enjoyed it. And I feel like she came out beautifully. So 
so um, that's it basically. This is everything I coloured in August. Um, I was away on holiday, so that I would have maybe had a bit more. So I am also going to shortly do a video of everything I've ever coloured as well for you to all see. Um, <laughs> but I want to finish a few pictures for some from some other books first, and then that will be delighting me, delightfully grace. Gracing your, um, oh gosh, I'm such tongue, so tongue tied. It will be delightfully gracing your screens shortly. <laughs> no, that's what I wanted to say, but it didn't come out very well. Um, so of course I'll have more pictures next month from Enchanted Forest, as that's what I'm trying to finish. Um, I'm gonna be really brave. I thought I would try doing this double page spread. <laughs> Which makes me want to cry because of all the details, but I'm I'm gonna try and do this this weekend. So um we will see if that gets done or not. Um I'm hoping it won't take me forever. So I hope you enjoyed um my completed pics. I'm gonna do this from now on. So each month you'll get to see my lovely completed pictures because um yeah originally I wanted to wait so many weeks so I could have more pictures shown. But I've just decided I think it's easier if I do that. And then I can do big videos, like maybe when it's my year anniversary time on YouTube, like I'm going to do th this month, because um, it's September now, um, of everything I've coloured. And then you can, you know, look back and see them all. So I'm really excited to do that for you soon. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I hope to see you all soon. Bye.